Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Modix and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a Valorant economy guide. So if you're looking to learn more about the economy in Valorant, if you're a beginner player, advanced player, this is the guide for you. We're going to be going over when you should save, when you should force up and buy weapons. And hopefully if you watch this video all the way through, you're going to be able to learn how to win more of your Valorant games and hopefully to start destroying opponents so before we get into the actual tips and tricks i want to give you guys some of the numbers that valorant has so right when you start off a match you're going to get 800 credits to spend you can choose to spend for a better pistol or you can decide to save if you do save you can basically get a bulldog and armor the next round so just keep that in mind talk things through with your team see what they want to do but just keep an option that you can save and buy next round so if you do get a kill, you will be awarded 200 credits no matter what weapon it's coming from. So in CS, things were a bit different, but in Valorant, every weapon you kill with is the same set amount of credits. It's 200 credits every kill. So if you do plant the bomb, you get 300 credits. And if you defuse the bomb, you also get 300 credits. So it's even that way. If you win a round of Valorant, you will get 3000 credits. And if you lose, you will only receive 1900. So that's why I'm saying you might want to just hold off on the pistol round just in case you lose so you're still able to buy. But our first tip that we have is you keep abilities that you buy even if you don't use them. So when you die, you're able to keep the abilities that you didn't use. So even if you might not think you're going to use an ability that round, you still want to invest if you have those extra credits unless you're saving for the next round. So it's just super smart to invest in your abilities often because it might be an investment for a future round, not that present round. So our second tip that we have is at the start of the round, you can check the scoreboard to see the economy of the other team. You can base your buys around this. So if they have a lot less money than you, you should probably buy weapons so that you can win the round. So force up, try to get some picks because they will might be possibly saving. So you don't really know, but hopefully you're betting on that they're saving they're gonna bring out pistols and just kind of push you that way you guys can hold back hold like vandals or something from an angle and then you'll be able to get the pick hopefully so our third tip that we have is save when a majority of your team is below about 2500 credits if you buy a gun make sure you buy armor and if your team is below 2500 then they're not going to be able to buy armor and a weapon so just be sure to save that round and then buy the next round and then our next tip is if you win the pistol round you need to force up and buy real weapons because most often than not the team that you're going up against will not save completely they will spend either credits on abilities or a better pistol at the start so you can just expect them to save that next upcoming round if they lose pistol round so you're going to want to force up buy real weapons to take control of the game early that will get you up two to nothing so hopefully it's a good lead to start out your matches so just keep that in mind so our next tip coming in is if you have the opportunity to get the bomb down you need to plant it even if you're going to lose place that bomb because it gives 300 credits to every single player and this is 1500 credits to your team's economy it's crucial that you guys do this because you could get so many more credits and it's just not even smart to just hold off bomb when you know you can plant so let's say you know you're not going to win a 1v4 situation and you're holding bomb fake like you're going a and rotate to b as fast as you can if you're on haven go from a to c c to a something like that try to play as crazy as possible just to get that bomb down because those 300 extra credits will do so good the upcoming rounds so the next tip that i have is kind of situational it's if you have low money but your team wants to buy what you should be doing is trying to play as a team with your team and get one kill so that you can pick up the real gun after you get this real gun your team can decide if they want to just save it for next round or if they should try to win the round if everyone else bought and you're the only one that didn't buy then you probably want to go for the round but let's say that your team might be also needing a weapon a great weapon then you might want to save for the next round so like let's say that round after pistol round you might have lost this is where you're going to want to try to get a pick grab the weapon and possibly save if you do not see you guys winning the round and this is kind of the same thing but this tip is 
the opposite or the opposing side kind of so if the other team is low on money keep in mind the fact that they will probably be trying to rush somewhere with close range pistols or smgs this can change the way you want to play the round so just keep in mind that you're looking at that leaderboard to see their currency in there Okay, so our next tip takes place after the round is over. So once that bomb goes off, you have six seconds to roam around the map trying to find a better weapon. So if you have something like a judge, you can try to find an op or a vandal laying on the ground, pick this up, and even if you don't plan on using it, you can drop it for one of your teammates and they don't have to buy that round. So this is a great way to save money. So moving on to our next tip, we have on round 12 and round 24, be sure to buy out and spend all your money. This money will not carry on to the other side, so saving the credits is just a waste. Don't be afraid to just push in, go for crazy plays these rounds, because if you lose your life, it's not like you're going to be losing the weapons and abilities that you have. So be sure that you're using all the abilities, all the ults if you have them, to try to win these rounds. The reason that you want to do this on round 24 is because everyone will get 5,000 credits during round 25, which is overtime, and they'll have to spend them on abilities and weapons because no abilities carry over. So just keep this in mind when you're playing round 24 going into round 25. So I hope this video did help you guys out. Hopefully you learned a bit about the economy in Valorant. If it did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe because we're posting daily Valorant content. I'm going to be trying to go live every single day. So also be sure to turn those notifications on so you get notified whenever we go live. We'd love to hang out with you guys. If you want to play some games, just message me, comment down below, and I will try to run some with you guys. That's going to wrap it up for today's video, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.